Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. How you guys going out there? Going to take a look at the footy tips for this weekend. <clears throat> Shorty is struggling. Oh boy. I'm filming this one on Tuesday. Gee, I hope I get through the live session. I am struggling here. Just a bit run down, guys. A bit run down. Cold. And struggling. So it's a bit annoying. But um, oh, it looks like I've already done my tips for this week. But let's have a look at the competitions. A couple of random things I'm involved with. A little Coles footy tipping. I think I was did okay. We got a fair few through the gate in the end in the old tipping. There we go, 109. How good's that? And uh, did anyone pick nine? Let's get back on the ladder here. We did have a few people who picked nine. Three of you. Nicely done. So you guys are nicely at the top. And I think I'm down at 22. Psychic Shorty. <laughs> Shocking name. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. God, made myself laugh at my ridiculous name and then just started coughing. That's where I'm at. So, anyway, all the best to everyone who got involved with the tips. Um, great to have you all on board. First footy tip and comp I've run, and to get 100, I, I thought that was awesome. So, um, thanks very much. Like I said, I have already tipped. I must have done that yesterday. Just getting in nice and early, but I'll go through them. It was a tough, tough first week. Like, I think I picked um, the two I got wrong. I did pick North, and I picked St Kilda. So, not too bad. You know, to get Sydney wasn't too bad. The Dockers came through for me, which was crucial. And Gold Coast, you know, was not a bad tip. Even though I feel like most people got around that by the end of it. But I know when I did it, the percentages were still pretty one-sided. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go the dogs. Um, and I know I tipped Carlton last week. And that was a good little tip to get up on a few people. I know a few people backed in the Tigers. But I'm going to go with the doggies. I just I still think they're a really good side. And I think there's a lot of improvement from the Blues. But I still just feel like the dogs, you know, they'll be looking to bite back. And jury's out whether Carlton can do it consistently. It's always tough to back up a really good performance when you're sort of a team on the rise. So... I was a bit surprised to see it heavily weighted in the favour of the dogs, but nonetheless, a few people must be sort of thinking along my lines of thinking too. Going to tip the Swans against the Cats, and that's, you know, probably one that, well, I guess might surprise some out there, but Geelong lost to the Swans last year there, I think it was, and, and as good as we were, I think Sydney were equally as good, and I still feel like I was stoked with the way the Cats played, but I still feel like the jury's a little bit out on us, whether we can take that footy on the road so we haven't traveled very well over the last couple of years um so yeah gonna tip the swannies there gonna tip the pies i think that one's pretty straightforward over the crows and i think brisbane over essendon pretty straightforward as well bombers they'll definitely want to bounce back won't they gonna tip port over hawthorne i think even though port went down i think at adelaide oval they're always a damn tough pick and i think hawthorne will be Still, you know, good performance week one, but they'll be down the bottom end of the ladder, I would imagine. And the the Ds, I mean, Gold Coast, great result for them, but still, to try and knock off the rain in premiers is going to be damn tough, even at Metricon. So I'm tipping in the Ds, like most of you guys out there. This is probably the toughest one of the lot, North Melbourne and West Coast. I'm going to go North, just because it it's a marvel. I still think the West Coast Eagles are depleted. They played really well, you know, at home and, and probably batted. A bit higher than most of us kind of thought they would, given all those outs. I'm still pretty buoyant on North Melbourne. I know they went down, but I think a few of their young guys that we thought we'd maybe get a bit more from, we didn't on the weekend. So I think they'll be better for the run. I'm going North Melbourne, and I'm going to go the Tigers over the Giants. I think even though they went down and the story was Carlton, I still think the Tigers were relatively impressive. Their midfield got beaten up a bit, and that'll be tough because the Giants' midfield is elite. But... I still am in the mode of thinking Richmond at the G. You've got to respect it. You know, you've got to respect it. I know I went against them last week, but you still got to respect that. And last game of the round, I'm going the Dockers pretty confidently over the Saints. Now, off the stadium, I think the Dockers are a good thing and started their year off, their year off really well. So, yeah, thanks again for uh, tuning in. I got through the video. Jeez, I don't know. I was struggling to get through about five minutes there. I don't know how I'm going to get through the live session tonight without coughing me damn guts up, but let's see how we go. If you want to put in your tips down below, feel free to. 
if you've got an upset, feel free to let me know. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for tuning in. And I'll talk to you guys throughout the week. Cheers.